to start with just kneeling down you can sit on your feet vajrasana if you're comfortable enough sitting between your feet you can allow yourself to get down into your bones to let gravity help you settle be curious about the shape of your breath depth and the width of it and then open your arms out wide. Find a little back bend. You can tip your chin up and wrap them around yourself like a big hug and round into a little forward bend. Keep going like that. Inhaling arms wide, enough of a back bend for you. And then exhaling, crisscrossing the arms, rounding, really wrapping the arms around yourself. Inhaling wide open. Exhaling, trying to spread out the back body as much as possible. And you can keep your hands around your shoulders and make big circles with your upper body. Just moving it around like you're stirring a giant imaginary bowl in the sky. And then change directions, big circles with your upper body the other way, round and round. And then just coming up and eagle wrapping your arms here, tipping the elbows up, breathing in. Drawing the elbows in towards your navel and rounding as you breathe out. You can stay here and catch a little bit of a sway from side to side. And then as you come up, release your arms, walk your hands out. Coming to all fours, cat cows, drop the belly, look up and then round as you exhale. You can explore other movements of your spine here as well. You're not stuck, you're the pilot of this airplane. A couple more shake and shimmies here through your cat and cow poses. And then just sit back onto your heels, coming up to a tall spine. Inhale, arms wide. And as you exhale, you wrap yourself up in that big hug. Fingers searching for the shoulder blades even. A couple more times, inhale, spread your wings, lift your heart, find your back bend as you exhale, wrap your wings around yourself and fold in. This time as you wrap, you can stay there and make those big circles with the upper body. Just circle and twirl your torso and your head and your shoulders around and then go the other way. And as you land in the center, take your eagle arms. Make sure the other arm is on top this time. Elbows go up towards the sky, a little back bend. And elbows go down towards the navel, a little forward bend. And stay in your forward bend. Maybe just a teeny little side to side rock to help open up space between the back ribs. Lift your chest, release your arms, walk your hands out, hands and knees. This time, though, turn your fingers around so the fingers face your knees, turning your hands around just as much as possible, and then take a couple of cat-cows like that. Take one more cycle here, cat and cow. And then what if you put the backs of your hands on the floor with the fingers facing the knees? Be really gentle and you can make teeny little circles around your wrists here, it doesn't have to be much. And then release back to regular hands, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Coming back down into your bones as often as you can, trying to really locate yourself by drawing breath into your bones, by feeling gravity, allowing it to help you feel more placed, more aware of where you are in space. From downward dog, go ahead and just roll your way out into a plank position and pause there. Swing your heels to the right and let your hips dip down towards your mat 
and then come back through plank and swing your heels to the left. Keep your hands and shoulders where they are. Just let your hips dip down. It's quite a good abdominal exercise. And then back to plank and downward facing dog. Let your right foot way up into the sky. Let it reach for the stars. And then bend your right knee. Start to turn that hip open. Let the right foot melt behind your back. The top of the foot soft. And then reach that leg way up high again. Look forward. Step the foot up to the outside of your right hand. Lizard. And you can just wiggle and wobble around a little bit and get your hips open here. Place your back knee carefully down. You can let your right knee roll open. And then walk your arms out over to the left. Stretch them out up on the diagonal towards the left as your right knee keeps falling open like a door. Practice softening your outer body. Let your skin be quiet. And then walk your hands back in. Look forward. Tuck your back toes under. Carefully step your way back. Downward facing dog. Rolling your way out into plank pose. You're keeping palms and shoulders where they are. Heel swivel to the left. Left hip just dips down and then back to plank pose. Heel swivel to the right. Let your right hip dip down towards the mat. Coming back to plank pose. And from plank pose into downward facing dog. Raise your hips to the sky. Carefully peel your left leg up and back behind you. Pointing toes up, stretching legs apart. The left knee bends. The top of the left foot softens. The five toes of your left foot pouring out of it like liquid gold. And then reach the leg high. Look forward, stepping your left foot up to the outside edge of your mat. Taking a few moments to snuggle in before you eventually put the back knee down on the earth. Let the left knee roll out to the side. And then start walking your hands out on the diagonal to the right side. You can even look back behind you towards that back foot. It kind of feels nice on the neck here. And then walking your hands back. Look forward, tuck the back toes under. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose. From down dog, tiptoe your feet all the way up from the back of the mat to the front. Can you even feel them moving? Toe, ball, heel, or heel, ball, toe, any way you want to do it until you arrive at the front. Fold over your legs, clasp your elbows, and just shake a little bit from side to side, releasing any tension that you can feel along the spinal column and in the shoulders and the neck. Roll your way up to stand. Let your arms settle by your side. Pause and connect again. Feel your feet on the ground and the breath in your bones. So take your arms, sweep them out and up above your head. Touch your palms together and then bring your hands to your heart. And then bring your palms together. Take your arms, open them out wide to the side. Lean back into a back bend and then wrap them around you just like we did in the warm up. Inhale, arms open wide, finding back bend. Exhale, arms circle around you, finding a little forward bend. Inhale, arms wide, lift your chest. Exhale, wrap them up, right arm on the bottom, left arm on top. And then standing, do that same circle of the upper body. Just big circle in one direction and then big circle in the other direction. Let your head roll with it too. And as you come up to stand here, taking your eagle arms, right arm is on the bottom. So get your arms set up and then eagle legs, right leg over the left leg. Twine your legs and snuggle your hips downward towards the earth as you lift your elbows up. Taking another couple of breaths here, Garudasana, the eagle pose. It's like a vine wrapped around a tree trunk, all your limbs. 
And then slowly standing up tall, unwrapping the right leg, stepping it down, releasing your arms, clasp your hands behind you, puff your chest up, lift your chin, and then bend your knees and melt your upper body down slowly over your legs, reaching your arms up and over your head as you fold into Uttanasana. Allow the weight of gravity to help you fold towards the earth, to help bring the arms down over your head towards the earth. Release the arms very carefully. Bring your left hand to the ground and take a twist. Reach your right arm up. Try to straighten your right leg as you bend your left one really deeply. If the right leg doesn't straighten, that's just fine. Don't worry spreading across the front and back of the heart as you reach the arms away from each other and then slowly turning back to face the ground right hand comes down and roll your way right up to standing tadasana inhale open your arms out wide find some back bend and then exhale wrap them up and find some forward bend inhaling arms tossed open and exhaling wrap yourself up once more, this time as you land, you're going to take your left arm on the bottom and wrap yourself up, coming to that big standing circle. Circle your upper body, whoosh, down and around in one giant circle, and then whoosh, go the other way, rounding, even finding a little back bend as you come up. And then eagle arms, left arm on the bottom, elbows go up. And eagle legs, left leg slowly wraps over and around the right leg. Hips go down. Fingertips go up. Wrists move forward and breath can deepen even a little more. Let there be a stillness to your outer body here. And then releasing, come up, release your arms, clasp your hands behind you, put the other knuckles on top, puff the heart up, lift the chin, bend your knees and pour yourself out over the legs. You can start to lengthen the legs as you fold. You can snuggle a little bit side to side in your shoulders here. Imagine drinking the breath in through the soles of your feet up through the bones of your legs, pouring it down through the spine and out the head. Release your arms. So this time the right hand will come down, left arm goes up. Bend your right knee generously. Start to lengthen your left leg as you twist and turn your heart open towards the left side of your space. Lower your hands, soften both knees, folding, and then step your way back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose. Go ahead and glide forward, finding your plank, catching your plank without a rush here. And then heels swing to the right, dip your outer right hip all the way down towards the floor, maybe even touch the floor. And then back slowly into plank. Swing heels to the left. Dip your outer left hip all the way down towards the mat. Try to keep your hands where they are. Shoulders not moving too much. And then back to plank pose. Dip the outer right hip now one more time. Swing heels to the right. Right hip down. And you can sit yourself all the way down. Turning to face the back of your mat. And you'll have your left ankle crossed over your right. Coming into a hooked ankle navasana boat pose. Pull your knees away from each other. Keep your knees bent and drawing away from each other in this boat pose. Now Take your arms and start turning towards the right as if you're going to put your left hand down first. Try to keep your legs hovering, turning, turning your chest, trying to place your hands back at the top of the mat. And then the last thing to go is the legs will unhook and you'll roll onto your belly and you can come right into a cobra pose there. So tops of the feet down, heart opening. And then go ahead and melt your head back down towards the mat. Tuck your toes under. Can you come right up through hands and knees into downward facing dog? Encourage yourself to move even a little more slowly and deliberately. Roll your way out into plank pose. 
From there, swing heels to the left, dip the left hip down, and then come back through center, and swing heels to the right, dip the right hip down. Come back slowly through the center, swing it to the left, dip the hip down, down. And then you're just gonna sit down right onto your butt there. Your right ankle will be crossed over your left ankle as you come into that hooked ankle Navasana with the knees stretching to opposite directions here, arms reaching forward. So what you're doing here is you're going to start turning back towards your mat and think about placing your hands down before the legs move. Can you even think about the right hand coming down first? It's almost impossible. You could try though. And then you'll roll over that left hip and onto your front side, unhook the ankles, cobra pose, tailbone presses down as heart glides up. And then lower yourself down, tuck your toes under, come through hands and knees back into downward facing dog. Allow the breath to move through you like wind in your bones. Imagine it sliding around your organs, through your joints. Look between your hands. You can hop or step your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Come up halfway and then fold again. Bend your knees a bit. Unroll yourself all the way up to stand. As you come up to stand, open your arms wide. Lean back and then exhale. Wrap them around yourself. Inhale, toss the gates open. Lift your heart. Exhale, round and wrap around. Inhale, open. Exhale, right arm on the bottom. Wrap the arms up. Come to stand. So rolling in big circles all around, upper body swings down and then swings around in the other direction. And then you can take your eagle arms again, right arm is on the bottom. And then to the eagle arms, you can add your eagle legs, right leg wrapping around the left leg. Let the hips drip down, down, down towards the mat, any amount will do. Can you twist your upper body here to the left? As much as it'll go, twisting to the left, trying not to move the lower body too much. And then bring it back through center. And can you twist your upper body to the right, turning your chest and shoulders towards the right? Your gaze can stay forward. And then as you come on up, you're gonna keep your eagle arms, come to standing, lift your right knee. And you can either bring your left hand to your right knee and reach your right arm back, or you can take your left hand to your right foot and reach your right arm back, coming into the standing Udita Hasta Parangustasana with a twist here. So stepping down into the left big toe, feeling like a mighty tree or a statue here, so sturdy and solid. Keep reaching back through the right arm and fingers. Don't worry, if you fall out, you can always come back in. Now to come out of this one, you're gonna bend that right knee, take half ankle to knee, right foot hooks over left thigh, bring your hands to prayer, lean your chest forward, and you can bend your standing knee more and more, and coming to the sort of half Utkatasana. You can even lean your forearms onto your right lower leg. That's it, and then coming up slowly to stand, step the right foot down, Tadasana. Inhale, arms up and open wide, and exhale, wrap them around yourself. So you've got two more like this, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, as you exhale, the left arm is on, the bottom, wrap it up, come to stand, take the upper body for two big circles, one to one direction and one to the other direction. Eagle arms, the left arm on the bottom, and then eagle legs, the left leg on the top. Take the hips down, reach the elbows up.
turning your chest, arms to the right, slowly, slow and steady, bringing it back through center, bringing your arms and chest to the left. And bringing that up to standing, take your left knee in towards your chest. Your right hand can touch your left knee and left arm goes back. Or your right hand holds the pinky toe edge of your left foot as the leg straightens forward and the left arm goes back. You can keep your gaze straight ahead or for more challenge, turn it and look behind you over that left hand. So when this releases, it turns into half ankle to knee, left ankle crosses right thigh, the hands come to prayer at the chest and the hips go down. Heart goes forward, even more hips go down, sitting bones spread behind you, heart goes forward. And then rising to stand, lifting the chest, stepping the left foot down, pausing here, feel your two feet on the ground. Allow gravity to be on your side. Take your arms, circle them out and up, touch the palms above you, open wide, fall like a leaf all the way down over your legs, touch the ground and fold into your shins. You can step your right leg and then your left leg back, coming into downward facing dog. And from downward dog, shoot it forward into plank pose. Swing your heels to the right, lower that outer right hip all the way to the floor and then back to plank. Swing the heels to the left, dip that hip all the way down or just as far as you can, keeping your hands down, your arms straight. Come back to center, dip it to the right. And as you do, let it sit all the way down. You'll sit with your left ankle crossed over the right, coming into this crisscross Navasana, arms reaching forward, knees pulling apart. And from there, turning towards the right, trying to bring those hands down first, going so slow. Try to reach the left hand down first and then roll onto your front side. Unhook your ankles. Set your hands up for cobra. From cobra, you can tuck your toes under. Come up through hands and knees into downward facing dog. And then go ahead and walk your hands all the way back towards your feet here. Fold, bend your knees. Roll all the way up to standing. We're gonna get a little bit weird here. Hope you're ready for this. Step your right foot out to the right so you're off your mat, sort of at the back of it. And just swing your arms a little bit, swing your upper body a little bit because you're about to do a cartwheel back onto your mat. So swing your arms to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right a few times and now get ready because you're gonna cartwheel right over onto your mat and land in a squat, that's it. And you just squat down low. Don't worry if you're not on your mat. So just the idea is to try something different and fun. And you're facing the long side of your mat, so that might be a little weird for you too. It's good to do weird things. From squat, just sit yourself butt down on the mat Stretch your legs out, right leg forward, bend your left knee, put your left foot on the ground. Drop your right hand behind you and peel your hips up, sweep your left arm up and back behind your head, sort of like a wild thing, rock star situation here. And then turning so your belly's facing the mat, lower all the way down onto your stomach. And from there, stretch your left arm out and roll onto your back. How weird is this? Cross your right ankle over your left. Come into that hooked ankle Navasana again. Reach your arms forward. And from this hooked ankle Navasana, try to keep your ankles hooked. Put your hands beside you so you can help yourself up onto your feet. And coming into hooked ankle crow pose, plant your palms. 
pull, try to pull your feet apart, but keep your ankles hooked. That'll help keep you strong here as you lift your butt, lift your feet off the ground. Crow pose with crossed ankles. And then from there, you can uncross your ankles, lower your feet down and come right up to standing. I know that was really different and you may have to watch that again to actually get exactly what was going on there. So let's try the other side. So you're gonna swing, swing, swing your upper body a few times. Whichever hand you led with, whichever way you cartwheeled, you're gonna lead with the other hand this time. Cartwheel over right into your squat. From your squat, drop your butt, stretch your legs out. Right leg straight, put your left foot on the floor. Right hand behind you, go ahead and raise your pelvis up, reach your left arm back behind you. Turning over so you're sort of in a plank facing over the other side of your mat. You're like a cross from your mat. And then coming down, roll right onto your backside, hooking right ankle over left ankle, coming right up into Navasana. And from Navasana into your crossed ankle crow pose. Use your hands to help you get onto your feet. Ankles are crossed. Bring your shins up to the backs of your arms. And then you can stay in crow. Just unhook your feet. Bring your feet down to the ground. And slowly come on up to stand. How did that go? <laughs> One of the best things you can do for your body is new, move in new, weird, and interesting ways. Come back to Downward Facing Dog. We're going to try that all again. You'll have a couple chances to try to get this done. So rolling your way out into Plank Pose. Dip your heels over to the left. And then bring them back through center and slowly dip your heels over to the right. Hips lower down and back through center. And then heels over to the left. Swing the hip down. Sit right down. Turning so you're sitting on your butt. Have your right ankle crossed over your left. Navasana with hooked ankles here. Now you're going to turn your whole upper body towards the left, trying to put your hands down before anything else happens. And then as you roll into your front side, unhook the legs coming into your cobra. And from cobra coming through hands and knees back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, and when you arrive at the back of the mat, you can slowly unroll yourself upwards. So you're going to take a big step out, this time with your left foot. So you're off the back edge of your mat again, but this time you're facing the other direction. Swinging upper body a few times. Just swing to the right, swing to the left. Whoosh, just getting used to kind of not being so much in control here. And then the next time you swing over towards your mat, just go ahead and take a big old cartwheel and land in a squat. Your cartwheel does not have to be perfect. You can see mine isn't. Coming down to squat and then from squat pose, you're going to start to reach your arms forward, drop your butt down, stretch your legs out. Right leg straight, left knee bent on the floor in front of you. And go ahead and drop your left hand behind you. Raise your pelvis. Reach your right arm up and find a little back bend here. Sort of like stargazers, wild thing kind of situation. And then turning all the way to face the mat, lowering down onto your belly. Stretch your arms out, particularly the right arm. So you can push with the left hand right over onto your back. And as you do, cross left ankle over right, come into that hooked ankle navasana with left ankle on top, knees pulling apart. And you can use your hands or anything necessary to get yourself up onto your feet. You still got the ankles crossed. Trying your hooked ankle crow on this side. See if you can pluck the feet up off the ground and then unhook them. 
regular crow, drop your feet, straighten your legs and roll all the way up to stand. And then we'll do the last one here. So coming to the back edge of the mat, swinging, swinging a few times, whoosh, loosening, freeing the upper body, freeing yourself from rigid constraints, freeing yourself from habitual patterns of movement, cartwheel over into a squat. And from your squat, reach your arms out, drop your butt down, right leg is long. Left knee is bent, foot on the floor in front of you. Left hand behind you and right arm sweeps up to the sky. Raise your pelvis up, press into the pinky edge of your left foot. Come into the ball of your right foot. And turning right where you are, just turn right over, come to a plank and lower to your belly. And then use the left hand to push yourself over onto your back. Crossing left ankle over right, pick yourself up into boat pose. And from your crossed ankle boat, attempting a crossed ankle bakasana crow pose. And if you can, while you're up in the air, uncross your feet, place them carefully down, and come up to stand. As you come up to stand here, coming back to face the front of your mat, you're towards the back edge of it, get your feet on the ground, locate yourself again, breathe into your bones. Inhale, reach your arms out and up, touch the palms, exhale, fold yourself forward over your legs. And then walk your hands forward towards the front of your mat, but not quite all the way. And you can actually walk your feet back a few steps. So you're in down dog with just your hands on the mat, but your feet behind it. Raise your right leg up and take a pigeon. Right knee is going to slide through your hands, but we're going to kind of walk this pigeon up. So lift your chest, walk your hands forward in front of you. And from there, you're gonna take your left leg, bring that right into pigeon, swing it in front and straighten your right leg back. So it's kind of coordination that has to happen there. And you might have to try it a couple times to get it. And then this pigeon, you can lengthen the spine and then take yourself for a fold forward over that bent front leg, which is the left leg now. And here's where gravity is really on your side, like the sweetest heavy blanket. You can let it just help you dissolve towards the earth. Starting to climb your way out, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, turning towards the right so you're facing the long edge of your mat. Point your left toes towards your right thigh, point your right toes up and take a sideways bend over that right leg for Parjva Janu Shirshasana. Trying to scoop the right belly under and turn the left ribs open. Outer body soft and quiet, inner body really vibrant and alive. Coming up from that one, carefully straighten your spine up, bring your feet together, Baddha Konasana, so feet together, knees apart, and you can rock a little from side to side here, just as a reminder that you're not stuck. There's fluidity as you kind of go side to side and forward, and side to side and forward until you can't go forward anymore and then you can just let your arms release out in front of you to hold you up and melt into the shape maybe you can allow yourself to go inside and try to find some part of your inner world that you've maybe never explored before some little crevice and then come on back up close the knees and you can turn towards the back of your mat 
coming up into a downward facing dog, but then walking backwards quite a bit. So you wanna get so that your hands are on the mat and your feet are off of the mat so that you got somewhere to go here. Now we're gonna take that sort of like walking pigeon. Lift your left leg up into the air and slide your left knee up through the hand. So you're going into a pigeon, but not for long because you're gonna walk the hands forward Pull the right knee up and right through the hands and stretch the left leg back behind you. You might have some readjusting to do. As you feel ready, you can fold your way forward. like sand falling to the bottom of a glass of water. Let all of your molecules, all of your cells have this quality of descending, of grounding. As you start to slowly breathe a little deeper and walk your way up, you'll turn yourself towards the long side of your mat, flip your left toes to face up towards the ceiling, coming into that Parjva Janu Shashasana, folding yourself in a side bend over the left leg, reaching the right arm up over your head, lengthening through both sides of the waist. Start to lift yourself upward out of the shape. You can bring your left foot to kiss your right in Baddha Konasana. And just like before, just a little side to side, kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side and forward and side and forward. And you just see where you go and you can't go forward anymore. Just let it drop. Let the hands rest somewhere where they feel comfortable enough. Breathe yourself back up. Close your knees together. And you can turn back to face your mat again. Lie down on your back and take your Shavasana. Namaste. Enjoy your rest.